Hi friends, so in this video we are going to discuss about optimal page replacement algorithm. This is the continuation of page replacement algorithms. Okay, so again we are going to consider the physical memory into number of frames. Again we are limiting here into three frames. Then this is the page sequence for the particular process execution. Okay, so now we will start, start with the uh, example. So here always the page replacement that is a process execution may start with the page fault. So because all the initially all the frames will be free, uh, no page information will be available. So start with the page fault. So 7 the initially first page will be entered in the first frame. Then 0 will be entered in the during the second page fault and uh, 1 will be entered with the th third page fault. So this is how the for initially all the three frames will be filled by all the three first three pages. So after that, so the newer pages required is 2. So operating system will verify the 2, the page number 2 is there in the physical memory or not. Obviously the page number 2 is not there. So page fault will occur. So now the operating system need to decide which page need to be replaced for the page number 2. So it will verify that is optimal page replacement means which is the page is not used for longest period of time. So comparing to these three pages, so 7 is the page not used for longest period of time. So 7 will be replaced by so 2 to 201 is the current positions. So after that, which is the next one? So 0. So 0 is the next one. So already the 0 is there. So operating system will verify. So page number 0 is there in the physical frame. So here page hit will happen. So page number 0 will be there. So after that, which is the one is required for the next sequence. So page number 3 is required for the process execution. So operating system will verify page number 3 is there or not. So page number 3 is not there. So page fault will occur. So after page fault occurring, so operating system need to decide which is the page is not used for the longest period of time. So comparing to these three pages, so page number 2, before the 0, page number 2 is replaced. So that is also used. Then page number 0 is recently, it's again referred. So this will be considered as used. So now comparing to all these three, page number 1 is not used for longest period of time. So page number 1 will be replaced by 3. So 2, 0, 3. So this is how the page, page number 1 will be replaced by 3. So now after that, uh, again, which is the new required. So page number 0 is required. So again, pay, uh, operating system will verify page number 0 is there or not. So page number 0 is there. Page hit will happen. So after that, which is the page is required newly. That is the page number 4. So comparing to this, which is the page not used for longest period of time. So comparing 3, 0 and 2 and 2 is the uh, page is not used for longest period of time. So page number 2 will be replaced by 4. So 4, 0, 3. Okay, so now this is how the page number 2 will be replaced by 4. So after that, so which is the one required? So page number 2 is required. Uh, again, it will verify, operating system will verify which is the page not used for longest period of time. So then it will verify here page number 4 and page number 0 and page number 3. So comparing all these three, so which one is not used for longest period of time? Again, page number 3 will be identified. The page is not used for longest period of time. Okay, so now page number 3 will be replaced by 2. So here 0, sorry, 4, 0 and 2. So this is how the pages will be entered in the physical frame. So after that, which is the one required? So here page number 3 is required. So page number 3 is required. So it will verify page number 3 is there or in the uh, frame or not. So page number 3 is not there, page fault will occur. So after that it will verify which is the frame not used for, which is the page is not, not used for longest period of time. The newly required uh, page is 3. So again operating system will verify all these 3. So page fault will occur. She will verify all the pages 4, 0, 2. So comparing all these 3 pages, so 0 is the page is not used for longest period of time. So page number 0 will be replaced by 3. So now 4, 3 and 2. So this is how the page information will be entered into the particular physical frame. 
So this is how the optimal page replacement algorithm will work for the operating system. So here you need to understand this uh, optimal page replacement algorithm will work based on the the page is not used not used for the longest period of time that page will be identified by the operating system so that page will be replaced by the newer page is required for the process execution so this is the end of the optimal page replacement algorithm thank you